But Esther came from an incestuous family. She claims she was abused first by her grandfather and later by her father. The abuse started with my father, I think, as a very young child. Um, probably about age seven. My father started a loving, concerned, petting kind of an affection. And when the opportunity came along, he took the opportunity to turn that from affection into what he called affection and love into a sexual relationship, intercourse, oral copulation, ugly things that I don't like to talk about. Based on what her father told her, Esther believes he was one of the pedophiles who provided information to Kinsey. My father actually did um, mail in some uh, questionnaires, um, I believe, to the Kinsey Institute about the um, sexual abuse that he was doing on me. At the very peak of when all the abuse was going on, there was a, a paper in a brown envelope, and it was kind of halfway out of the envelope. It was a, a summer afternoon, and I don't know why I remember there was a, a warm breeze blowing through the bedroom window. <laughs> The envelope had blown a little bit, and I went to put it back on the dresser, and I saw that there were questions there. And it was a whole series of questions with little boxes in front of them. And I read one of the sentences, and I didn't know one of the words. And so I asked my father, what is O-R-G-A-Z? Oh, he said, that's orgasm. And he continued to explain to me what an orgasm was. And then I realized why he was looking at his watch. Um, because he was telling me to let him know when I felt an orgasm. And when he saw that I had seen this paper, he immediately said he had a deadline to meet and he had to send it away, so he put it in this envelope. I know nothing about this woman or uh, her father or grandfather. I have no idea whether there's any basis uh, of fact in what she's saying at all. Would it be possible for the Institute to examine its files and determine whether her father did send information to Kinsey? At this point, I can't say. We have a huge amount of information that people have sent to the Institute about their sexual experiences. Somewhere amongst that, there may be something relevant to this woman. Uh, but that material is uncatalogued, um, unordered, and um, I really have no idea how difficult it will be to check that out. Can you understand, though, why she would feel disturbed by the knowledge that material may be residing here in the Institute. If the description is accurate, then I can see she, she could have some concern, yes. But she can also rest assured that the material will be treated with great confidentiality. And uh, we will never reveal the identity of anybody involved to, uh, to anyone else. But from what her father said about Kinsey, Esther fears the details of her abuse may have been used in his second book, Sexual Behavior in the Human Female. In a section dealing with sex between adults and children, Kinsey claimed to have evidence that children can enjoy abuse. The adult contacts are a source of pleasure to some children and sometimes may arouse the child erotically and bring it to orgasm. It is difficult to understand why a child except for its cultural conditioning, should be disturbed at having its genitalia touched.
But for Esther, some memories are so painful, they stand out even 50 years later. My school was going to have a little operetta. When I got on stage, I was so scared because I knew what was going to happen on the way home. My father put me in the back seat and, of course, continued to sexually abuse me. But I looked out the back window and there was a, a gorgeous, beautiful moon and stars. And it's very difficult to say it. I'm sorry. It was a very painful memory to remember. But I was crying so hard that the tears were running into my eyes, out of my eyes and down into my ears. And I was crying and my sinuses were so filled up I couldn't breathe. And my ears were filling up with water. And I just had a fear, I'm, I'm going to die.